Uh, pleased and happy uh, about today's game. Um, no doubt about it, our team improved uh, a great deal from our first exhibition game uh, to uh, through tonight's game. Really across the board, whether it be individually, you know, not just one side of the basketball, but offense, defense, and uh, it's great to see. With, with such a young group, that that's the advantage that you know sometimes in a four or five day window, when they gain the experience of playing against a real team. Uh, they can improve at a far greater clip, maybe a more experienced season team. And I think that's what we went through. Uh, we were able to watch film of the first game, just sometimes getting the nerves out. First time in McHale playing against another team is a big deal. But we settled in, and uh, you know, offensively, that was as efficient as we've been. You know, that team returns a lot of players from a year ago. They obviously had a great season a year ago. I think they'll have a, another great season. That's why we play Chico State, because we really respect how they play the game, their talent level, and uh, this is the third year in a row they've, they've played us. Uh, but this team a year ago, um, heck, they took us to the wire. It was really a five-point game, um, could have gone either way. So the fact that we beat them the way we did tonight, uh, I thought our guys were focused, and uh, hopefully that'll set the tone for a great week of practice. What does it say about your team that you can be a team like that? How you did, but you're missing three key players. Well, the guys that played the game tonight, and you know that's the focus. They did a, an excellent job. Uh, we moved the ball well. When you can get 21 assists in 10 turnovers, uh, that speaks volumes. Uh, we got to the foul line 27 times. They got to the foul line five times, and I thought we did a really good job of playing defense without reaching and fouling, which in the month of November isn't easy to do especially on our side with such a young group. And we had some breakdowns, but those are all things that we want to look at and improve on from today until next Friday, this coming Friday. Parker, Parker adds to that, I think, he just how he kind of shows up and he does his job and makes probably other people better. Is, he, is that about right, how he did it tonight? Yeah, Parker, you know, he's, he's the senior point guard. He's a pass-first point guard. He's been in a lot of big games, big moments. He's fought through adversity and injuries. Been a part of three very good teams, uh, two championship teams. And you just can't uh, take for granted that type of experience. He knows what to do and how to do it. And you're right, he sets the tone for our team. Uh, I think his style is also a great fit for the rest of the group because he's a much different player than the rest of the guys. And then he, he uh, finds people. And, and I tell you what, he's made a big difference in Alex Barcelo. I think if you talk to Alex, practicing against him every day, you know, having Parker as the older guard, talking to him all the time, you know, Alex has really started to come on, and I'm really pleased with the way he played tonight. Are you expecting him to start shooting more threes this year? He will, yeah, he will. You know, I think uh, as the three-point shot presents itself, you know, Alex is one of our team's best shooters. Well, I'll talk about Paul Parker. Parker, same thing. You know, his uh, Pac-12 three-point shooting the last two years, he might be the best over a two-year span in the Pac-12 in terms of percentage. And uh, he said a couple of times in the non-conference seasons where because of injuries, he, had, he didn't shoot it as well. But uh, I would expect him to really shoot it consistently. How much of that uh, efficiency tonight do you think was due to Parker or, or was it just sort of a lot of guys doing the right things, being in the right place, that kind of stuff? Yeah, it wasn't just one player. It was, you know, Emmanuel had six assists again. So in two exhibition games, he now has 12 assists. And you can't take for granted DeAndre's ability to pass. I mean, they elected to post trap him, and, uh, and he looked like a 10-year you know, NBA player. How seasoned, how poised he was at handling the double team, just making the simple play, throwing a quick pass to the first open man. And, you know, even if his pass didn't lead to the shot directly, it led to the ball moving around. And, uh, probably created five or six just great shots for our team. But for someone at the beginning of his freshman year, usually post-trapping and double teams, they can be a problem. But just watching his mind, and I've said it time and time again about him, it's his intelligence that sets him apart more than anything, in my opinion. He's got great ability, but he knows what he's doing out there, and he makes his teammates better. How much of like the defensive rotations would you say he's got figured out in your system? Uh, he makes his, he makes mistakes, but his intent is always always good. You know, it's not easy at seven foot, two hundred sixty pounds, to move like he moves on the court. And a lot of guys his size are going to play the five, so they'll only guard centers. The way we're playing, and I think it'll really help his development, 
and give our team, I think, a different look. He guards the other team's four when Dusan's in there. So we're asking his, him as a freshman, you know, his size to guard a guy like tonight, 6'5", 6'6", could really shoot the three. But I think the more you challenge him, uh, I think the more he'll grow. And with his growth defensively, he'll really give our team a, a lot of, uh, I think, good characteristics. Th that said, um, I don't know this is what he does. He steps out and shoots the, the long shot. But how, how, how comfortable are you with him doing that from, the, from three? He's a very good three-point shooter. He's also a very good free throw shooter. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, we watch it every day. So, you know, what he does in games is pretty much what you see on a daily basis, how he goes about things. And, uh, but he's, uh, again, he's a very good player. That speaks for itself. He's a very good teammate. He's a very hard worker. He's bright. He's smart. And for somebody as talented as he is, it's, uh, it's, it's really fun to watch him play the game and be as intelligent of a player as he, as he is. And, you know, that, that becomes contagious, too. When, when that guy makes the right play and is unselfish, it's difficult for anyone else to, to deviate. And you know, I thought Alonzo had a great game tonight. He was efficient, um, got off to a really good start, took what the defense gave, and, you know, I think those two guys, you know, they combined for 43 points. On the honor is three, what did you see out there where it kind of, it kind of looked like he yelled something out there and then a quick, you know, pick and pop and he hits the three. Were you seeing something that you wanted to call that specific thing for him? You know, it, it's a good shot for our team to allow him to do that because it puts a lot of pressure on, on defense. You know, you have to deal with him everywhere, not just around the basket, but on the perimeter. And like I said, he's efficient. He's not going to take bad shots. So if you give him a drive, he'll, he'll take the drive. If he doesn't have a good shot, he'll move the ball. You, you said besides the, uh, the, the, the post trap, they threw out a fair amount of zone uh, defense at you too. What was your impression on that? How you guys handled that? I thought we really handled the zone well. You know, I've told you uh, that we've spent a lot of time this summer and in the fall at being organized and trying to give our team more confidence yeah. and, uh, you know, more efficiency, put, put players in the right positions, make sure that that ball is able to move. And uh, but I'm glad. That's what we love about playing Chico State, to give you different looks. And it was good for our guys to, to get tested there and play against the zone. Did you know they would? Or I don't know. I know in scrimmages sometimes you'll talk to their coaches, hey, you guys can do that. But does that ever happen? And, 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 I mean, did Chico know that? No, I mean, we, we, want, we want them to, to play their style so they can develop. And uh, we're going to play our style as well. Do you, uh, do you anticipate um, Alonzo having a big year this year? Mm -hmm. I mean, he's obviously he's Alonzo, but something that he's ready for? Yeah, no doubt. He's put in a lot of work. Um, you know, some of this is just health. You know, he's missed quite a few games. I think he's missed 28 games in, in two years. So, you know, being able to see him every day, practicing and uh, taking care of himself, and then, you know, game experience, getting into a rhythm. You know, part of having a great year is that when you're playing well, you keep playing. You know, you're not out for a week or out for a couple of weeks. So, knock on wood, you know, I think for us, we want him to be with us from start to finish. And if he's able to do that, I think he'll put together uh, an All-American type of season. Well, and I said, he's kind of like a nondescript guy. He just kind of shows up and plays. Just doesn't, you know, mm -hmm. not show what kind of guy. Just, uh, it's hard to see him going crazy with the stuff he just plays, right? Um, mm -hmm. I could be wrong. Do you see, it's hard to see he's got that big game in him. Mm -hmm. No, he, he um, you know, he's, a, he's a creature of habit in, in that he puts in a ton of work. You know, I, I haven't been around a young player that loves the gym, loves working on his game, you know, come back at night in the summertime. I mean, he's just relentless in his work. And usually those guys went out, you know, their skill level, free throw percentage, shooting percentage, and efficiency grows. And I think that's the biggest thing with Alonzo. It's almost like a staircase where he came in, he was at this level, and, Maybe in his second year he got to hear it. I think that he's going to be the best that he's been um, because he's smarter and he's put in a ton of work. What do you think of uh, Manuel's rebound? I know you said he wanted to go work on that at seven. You know, he's capable and he has to give our team that element. Uh, you know, without Raleigh, we don't really have that big small forward that we've had. And, uh, you know, Manuel could do a lot of different things, but, you know, anytime he gets a defensive rebound, he can push it and he makes good decisions. So uh, he's playing with a lot of confidence. And again, somebody that works at it every day, 
and uh, he deserves to continue to improve. Seems like Alonzo's kind of extended his range shooting deeper threes. How great is his light? Well, we want him to take good shots because uh, we have four other good players on the court. So you know, it just makes no sense for any of our guys to not take a good shot. But a good shot for him, no doubt. He has a lot of confidence in himself, as he should. But we all have a lot of confidence in him. So, you know, if he's open, he's going to let it go. I don't think he's going to have to look over and worry about it. He's going to shoot it anyway. So, Barry Green? Yeah. Okay.